Hi guys, hope you're well and welcome back to my channel. So I know a lot of you guys have been asking but I've had a lot of requests to do my laundry routine. As a busy mum of two boys, a toddler and a baby, they both make an absolute mess with their clothes and as you can imagine I go through them so I thought I'd record, record this all for you. So to start with I literally grabbed my washing basket out of the downstairs cupboard. We have this downstairs because it just makes it easier and um, generally I'm always changing clothes and I tend to separate the piles into four different piles. So I'll always have um, a light or a white pile. I'll also always have a dark pile. And then I like to have a colored pile and a gray pile because we have quite a lot of gray clothing in this house. I tend to find that this works best for me, separating up like this. And generally then the sizes of each pile aren't too big and I can generally get them in the washing basket generally empty back within a day or two. Um, so it doesn't take me very long at all. What I'll then normally do is I'll grab the biggest pile just to get the piles down and I'll chuck all the rest of the washing back in in their piles so it's easy to grab out for the future and whenever I'm going to do another wash and then I'll bring it to the washing machine. I'll literally chuck it all in making sure that I'm checking every single pocket as I go along because my husband seems to be a fan of leaving as much rubbish in his pockets whether it's tissues or receipts to coins, money, pens, you name it, he's got it in his pocket. So I'll um, check with washing and then load it in. And there are four things that I like to use in a wash. Um, I like to use my washing powder, my fabric softener. I also like to use these um, colour capture tissue things. And I also like to use some really, really nice smellies and all ball things. I can't exactly remember what they're called, but I'll link them below. So I always use Fairy non-bio tablets. The reason why I use these is because I have allergy problems, so does my son, and it seems to be a reaction to them. Colour catchers are amazing. Um, they literally do everything you need them to do and make sure the colours don't run. So I make sure that both of these are placed right to the back of the washing machine so they don't kind of come forward to the front and get caught up. These are the Unstoppables, and oh my god, they smell amazing. These have been a game changer since I started using them, and my washing smells amazing. Um, literally all the way whilst I'm still wearing it even if they've been put away for quite a while so I'll fill up the cap and then try and put these to the back as much as possible they do tend to fall forward quite a bit which is a bit annoying but I will tend to chuck those in and a cap full of those goes a very long way and then I'll use some fabric softener and I'm using this Lenore Silk Tree Bottom oh it smells amazing I've also got another one in blue I can't remember what the name of the blue one is but again that is amazing as well so I would definitely recommend that I'll literally just chuck a cap full of this into the wash and then I'm ready to go. So if the clothes don't require too much of a wash and they're just generally a general clean that they need, then I'll put them on a general cotton wash on a, on a temperature of 40 and I'll generally do a time saving mode and put them on for 55 minutes. This obviously allows me to get a few washes done. Things like towels and bedding, I generally put on a 60 and I'll put them on for a little bit longer. And obviously I also have a delay start, which if you've seen it in my previous videos, you would know that if I'm putting on a wash of an evening, I'll chuck it in, put it on a delay start so it's ready for me in the morning, which really helps me save time in my day, which is just amazing. Once the washing has finished, I'll then obviously go back to it and I'll take it out and I then separate it up as to what can be tumble dried and what needs to be hung up. Now, I'm not a fan of putting everything in the tumble dryer purely because I feel like jeans and things like that shrink and they kind of come up with all those lines. And likewise, the boys grow so quickly. If I put their stuff in the tumble dryer, it would just shrink and they'd only get a couple of weeks wear out of it. So anything that can be tumbled, I'll chuck in. And anything that's either to do with the boys or jeans or anything like that, anything woolen, will go and be hung up. So here I am, I'm just sorting it all out, figuring out what can go in. And then again, I generally chuck that on for about an hour and 20 minutes, hour and 30, depending on how big the pile that I'm putting in is, and I'll let that dry. And whilst I'm doing that, I'll head on upstairs and I'll go upstairs to hang up the washing. I generally like to hang up all the bigger items first so I can hang them at the top. So they've kind of got quite a bit of space to hang down and dry. And then obviously work my way down, get into all the smaller bits. Generally, if there's things like big jumpers and stuff like that, I will pop them on a coat hanger as well, just to obviously retain their shape. And then I'll hang them on the little side pegs of the washing lines. Um, I just generally try to do whatever I can to make the washing dry quicker, because as a busy mum, I am washing every single day of the week, as you can probably imagine. And little bits like his vest and things like that, they all sit at the bottom of the line. Um, they're really easy to dry, they dry pretty quickly, so that's good. 
I actually wanted to ask you all for some advice really on some tumble dryers. We have a washer dryer at the moment and it's not the best and obviously takes up a lot of time when we're waiting for the tumble to dry before we can put on another load. We wanted to invest in a tumble dryer but we obviously don't have space to have one plumbed in so we need one that doesn't need to be plumbed in and I was wondering if you had any recommendations. I generally don't then have to wait too much longer and this washing in the tumble dryer is normally dry by then um, so it absolutely smells amazing when it comes out of the tumble. I love how warm the clothes are when they come out of the tumble dryer and obviously how good they smell. I'll then normally sort out the washing downstairs. This saves me putting it in a pile somewhere and then forgetting all about it and then it not going away straight away. And this enables me if I'm doing washing later in the night to kind of sort it all out before I go up to bed and also not disturb the boys. So again, I'll just sort it out into little piles, dependent. Normally it's in four piles, obviously for myself, Adam and the two boys. Sometimes obviously I've got tea towels or towels. I'll also have some other bits, so I might do a hanging up pile for the boys, just dependent. And obviously then I'll group it all together and bring it upstairs. Once upstairs, I will literally pop it into the room that it needs to go in or pop it straight away, depending on what it is. And that's basically my laundry routine complete. It may repeat the same day or the next day, but that is basically everything to it. If you have any further laundry tips, I would love to hear them. But if not, thanks so much for watching and I will see you again for another video. And please don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos coming soon. Bye guys.